So a little bit ago, I decided to ask my friends to draw me some stuff so that I could do a redraw video of them. I didn't really give them a prompt or anything, it was just as long as it's safe for YouTube. That's the only criteria I had. So today I am taking their art and reinterpreting it in my own style. So for this first redraw, I'm illustrating my friend's very, very, very original Family Guy OC, Chirpy Fingry. He's definitely not just a recolor of Peter Griffin. Definitely didn't just swap the colors of his shirt and his pants and give him red eyes. Definitely not. He's totally original, very a very unique design. I thought that his proportions were kind of chibi-like, so I tried to imitate that with my drawing, and I thought it would be funny to attempt sort of a typical, like, cute chibi pose, so I went with this sort of floating pose. This drawing was more of a joke submission that my friend did, so... For my redraw, I didn't really put in that much effort, I'll be honest. I treated it more like a warm-up for some of the other ones that we'll be seeing later. And so I kept the lines like very sketchy and loose. All the colors are flat. There's no shading in it. But of course of course, I did have to add in the blushies because I can't make- I can't draw a character without adding in some blush, you know? It just wouldn't be right. Now, for this next drawing, we have a submission by my friend Jerry. She drew her VTuber in this really cute chibi look. So, I wanted to actually draw a cute chibi for this one, unlike the first drawing. And I did put more effort into it. I did a whole sketch and line art phase. I really loved the really sort of more the energetic pose, I guess that she has in her drawing, so I tried to imitate that, and I decided to do it uh, more, do a more full body drawing for this one, because I needed to have, to, I really wanted to show the, the little legs. I thought she turned out really cute. Now here you can see me doing the line art. I used a different brush from normal for the line art. I used a, a round brush that I have. I thought that it might give off more... I thought it, it, it just felt more right to do... to use a round brush as opposed to my typical rectangular chalk brush for this one. I thought it would be more fitting for the chibi look. And of course, gotta have the blushies again. Can't go without the blushies. The eyes were definitely the most detailed part of this drawing. I always have to go kind of above and beyond with the eyes. For this third one, we have my friend's, I believe it's a Starfinder character. These last few ones are all going to be Starfinder characters. A bunch of my friends are doing a campaign. It's kind of like a sci-fi D&D thing, I think. 
So yeah, they're doing a campaign right now, and this is my friend's character, whose name is Zephyr. They're like, I don't know the race of the character, but they're essentially a rat. And I wanted to kind of exaggerate the pose that they have a little bit. So I kind of leaned him forward a bit more and had his tail like swoop in and his arm is like really raised up too. And here you can see I'm doing line art. I did like kind of a rough sketch at first and now I'm cleaning this one up and I'm using my, my normal brush on like what I did with Jury's drawing. I've got. I'm doing all the the flat colors, which by the way, the lasso tool, there's like a, a specific lasso tool that someone has up on the Clip Studio Asset Store that makes doing flat colors so, so much easier. Now I just do like a quick airbrush for lighting along with my chalk brush just to kind of refine everything. Now, before we get on to the next drawing, I just wanted to take a quick second to promote my commissions. I have standard illustration commissions with full body, half body, and even profile pictures. I have surprise sketches, and I even have brand new character sheet commissions open. You can find my commission link in the description below, or you can head to vgen.co slash froggyjoestar if you're interested in commissioning me. Now. Let's get right back on to the video. So for this next one, we have a drawing that my friend who is the, I don't know what you, what the Starfinder equivalent of a DM is, but he's, I guess, the leader of the, the campaign. Um, and he drew one of the player's characters. I forget what the race is called. And I'm not sure that uh, I'm not sure about the name either of the character, but it's like a kind of cool alien. Thing. It, it kind of reminds me almost of the xenomorphs, like the, just the shape of the head. Kind of looks like that a little bit. And I did see that it has four arms, but I wasn't sure how I would make that work with just a portrait. It didn't feel right to put a set of arms underneath, uh, so I just kind of left it as two arms being visible. And then same as I did with Zephyr, I went in first with an airbrush to kind of create overall shadows and lighting. And then I went in with my chalk brush to do stuff that's more refined and make the edges not so soft. Last but not least, we have one final Starfinder character. This is Jupiter. I, I think that's how you say it. He's, I forget the name of the race. <laughs> he is essentially just a cat guy. I guess think of it, it's like similar to like a Khajiit from Skyrim, except I don't know if Khajiits have tails, but yeah, these guys don't seem to have tails, which is I thought it was kind of odd. Like, why wouldn't you want to have a tail on the cat? But yeah, I thought his posing was really cool. It's like this cool action pose. So I tried to 
kind of recreate that in my style. And for this one, I did not do line art because I actually spent probably the longest amount of time on this sketch and I just kind of wanted to finish it up as fast as I could just so I could get this video out on time. So I directly went in with the sketch and added color to that. Now my friend did use more of the default MS Paint colors for this one. So I wanted to kind of redo or reinterpret some of those colors and not copy them directly. Oh, this one was a lot of fun too. Doing the lighting, like trying to make that magic really glow was really awesome. And here's all of the finished redraws. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite, and maybe also let me know if you might want to see something like this happen again. I thought this was a lot of fun, and I think my friends had fun too, drawing stuff for me. I would have to say that my favorite is definitely the drawing that I did of Jury. It just turned out so cute. But yeah, so make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video.